remember him so well. He was wearing a blue cap, Paw Patrol over the front, pulled down over his eyes. His whole life, he had spent living in the wilderness with his mom. But then came that moment where she just said, I cannot do this anymore. Coming from nothing, no family support, no one to offer her any money, and more importantly, a survival of just trying to find food. She decided now is the time. She reached out and she searched for help. And a woman showed up and told her about a place called Acres of Hope. You see, Acres of Hope is the last program that a homeless mother and her child will ever need. We are a faith-based renewal program that brings mothers and children to, onto our campus to live in their own family cottage for up to two years. While they live with us, we give them every single opportunity to change their lives. They are mentored, counseled, they are, if they need to, they are able to finish educations. They clean up old records, clean up credit too. And we help them to get into above minimum wage jobs, all the while helping them through the trauma and the root issues that caused them to be homeless in the first place. The first thing I wanna to say to you, St. Matthew's congregation is this. I wanna say thank you. Your donation of $10,000 is going to help in so many ways at Acres of Hope. If you don't know, currently we are working to bring more cottages on the Acres of Hope campus. Why? Because we are seeing that the cycle of homelessness is being broken at Acres of Hope. This is working. The power of Jesus Christ is truly changing lives. We use finances that come in to pay for utilities that cover all the homes that are currently in campus, Acres of Hope campus. We also use the finances to provide for transportation, um, different toiletries or different things that moms may need as they're moving in, sometimes even food. So everything that you are donating towards is to see these families have everything they need so they, can, they don't have to worry about their basic needs they can actually worry about what it is to thrive and get that job and get that kid back out of foster care and reunify. So $10,000 will be going towards making the Acres of Hope campus run and part of it will be going towards our expansion project of bringing more homes onto campus. That little boy with the blue hat pulled down over his eyes, he doesn't hide from the world anymore. Instead, you will find his eyes wide open hope glistening in them. And you know, this last week I witnessed as he was painting with multiple colors and the beautiful canvas that he had enveloped these colors of paint on radiated the truth of this. He lives in his own home. His mother is there to offer him her best. And he is carefree sitting there painting a beautiful picture of hope on a table in his own home. We are Acres of Hope, and we are the last program that homeless mothers and their children ever need.